Good morning, Doreen. So, I apologise that I can't be with you today. Hopefully, this video is going to help you achieve what you need to do. Um, I'm quite keen that you uh, continue with the current work so that you don't fall too far behind the other class. So, behave, watch the video carefully, listen carefully, please. Um, if you need to pause the video, obviously do that. And good luck. And this is what I want you all to try and make yourselves based on your own pictures. The same way. The same way. Now, I've, you can see I've printed red and blue. I've yet to print yellow. So should we have a look and see how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what we need to do first of all is get prepared. And you guys are going to need to do this yourselves when the time comes. So any jewellery comes off. You okay, Aaron? You alright, lad? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Struggling here. There we go. Um, you will need an apron. And there's plenty of aprons over by the doors. Because the ink that you're going to use is much, much stronger than paint. If you get ink on your uniforms, it will not come out. And it will stain. And uniforms are expensive. So. Let's have a look at this. So this printing ink here, okay, it's, it's a lot thicker and a lot stickier than paint, okay, and you can feel it. It will take, it is water based, so it's not toxic, but because of how it's made, it's, it's almost got the same properties as glue, and as you know, glue sticks. So, got some ink out here. And then with a roller, what you need to do first is roll the ink like this. Now you can see on my desk I've got this, this mat. Yep. And you'll all get a printing or an inking station when the time comes for you to do your own inking. And you roll the ink out like this, look, until you can hear treacle. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's the right consistency that you need. Once you hear that sound, you're ready to add your ink to your car. We've oh, done. So, you, so you add them in stages? Correct, yeah, one stage at a time. So, I'm going to transfer now the ink from this area here onto the card. And because these shapes are level 3, the one level higher than level 2, there's a good chance that the ink will only go on, on where I need it to go. See what's happening? Now, you can see here the ink's gone perhaps where I don't want it to go. Is that a problem? No, no. no. Why not? Because you can redo it. Right. Or you've but already you done it. Put another paint on it. We can always redo it, good. Yep, yeah, and? We've already done it. We've already, yeah. we've already printed the red parts and the yellow parts sit higher, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So, the next part of the printing, look, if we get my printing book here, line it up. And I know from previous prints, it sits in there like so. Carefully drop it onto your, your work. And then with a dry roller, we are pressing and rolling the printing card in place. Now you need to be very firm with this. So you need to apply pressure. And try and roll it as, in as many even directions as possible. Importantly, leave the clean roller in the clean area. And then when you remove your print, you'll end up with the colours in place lot. And remember what I said at the start, the advantage of printing is so that you can very quickly replicate and redo a second, and a third, and a fourth, without spending hours and hours and hours redrawing all your work. So here comes number two.
Okay. Aaron, pay attention, lad. Okay, so that's and that's the printing process. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now before we can get this far, you're all going to need your printing card, aren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? So that's what you need to see next. Now Just move these out of the way. Aaron, get that book please. Put it over there and get rid of this book. Good luck. Okay, now, <clears throat> where's Roman? He's not here. He's not here. So look would have it. So I've had a look inside Roman's book, as look would have it, and what I've used for my inspiration is Roman's Mondrian style design here that I did for homework. You remember doing that homework yourself? Yeah. So you've all got something similar, but it's, it's unique, it's original. And this is what you're going to need to do first of all. You're going to each get a piece of card like this. It's on your table. Yeah? Job one is to just set it up. So, a couple of centimetres from the edges to give yourself a border. You got this. We're filming it, by the way, class, because unfortunately tomorrow I'm absent and your, your sister class, who should be doing the same project, hello, um, will hopefully be able to continue in my absence and produce the same printing card. So you might want to say hello to your friends. Hello. hello. Right, so... <clears throat> Two centimetre border, very quickly set your card, setting your card up like so. Are we all still with me? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're all still here. Okay. Once you've got your border, here's one I did earlier. You transfer exactly what you can see from your book onto your card, just like this. Mm -hmm. Once you've got that far, you can then begin the process of cutting out your shapes of card that are relevant to the shapes of colour. Now you need to begin with the blue colour first because it's, it's, the darkest. it's the darkest. perfect because it's the darkest. Good. Excuse me. So that's what I'm gonna ask you to do and I think you should be able to get this far today. So I've there's one shape look that I've not created yet and it's there so this is how you measure this is how you cut your shapes of card out measure your drawing and I can see that's two centimeters by by one and a half centimeters so on my card a bit of maths come into play here two by one and a half draw that shape onto your card Nick pay attention even thank you and you cut your shape out and just offer it up meaning you're just holding it in place to double check that it's the right size the right shape and then with glue stick if you're happy you glue it in place and then we've got the first level of printing. Yeah, this is going to be blue, so we would the same technique that you saw earlier, you'd roll on your blue ink and then you'd print out your first colour. Understand? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So we would get Questions? Far enough to put the ink, like the ink onto I the don't, card. realistically, I don't think you'll get far enough to, to do any inking today. But if you can get towards this sort of standard with your own work, I think you've done great. Uh, on your desks are uh, your printing cards and spare card. Let's get to it, please.
Okay, so for your homework, what I'd like you to try and do is produce your own printing. Now, to do this, I'm going to give you free choice to investigate and explore whatever medium or method you choose to use. There are some suggestions, however, on the home learning site for you to have a look at, such as using potatoes, fruit, vegetables. If you slice those in half, you can make wonderful prints from the innards of fruit and veg. You might have some old rubbers that you want to carve and cut into shapes and then use those to print. You can use your thumbs, fingers, hands and other body parts or leaves, flowers and plants also make nice printing parts. Um, you could also perhaps use bike wheels and roll the, uh, the wheels through some ink or some paints to print onto your page and um, you might also look at other examples there's a link on the homework page that will take you to lots and lots of different other examples so obviously explore that your task is to come back next lesson with a new full sketchbook page full of prints that you've created good luck